Слава Украине! Hello comrades and welcome to Amenor 4 Assault Squad 2 tutorial. Um, this is going to be uh, two requests in one. Um, the first request was uh, fixing skins with uh, texture issues, the MTL file. Um, and the other is porting uh, stuff from one mod to another. Um, we're going to be doing just uh, equipment uh, in this video because it's quick and easy. Um, things like guns, um, vehicles are a whole other process which I'll do a separate video on um, because I feel like this video is probably going to be long enough as it is uh, unless I try and cut it down as much as I can anyway uh, so you got your two mods right we want to take stuff from P90 out of war we're going to put it in Redmanov's mod uh, right, so we're going to go to entity human skin and um, I'm just doing this uh, just to simplify it because uh, Redmanov puts all of his stuff in pack files and that is a whole other just annoyance of adding to archive and so forth uh which i don't really want to waste too much time on anyway uh so we're going to go resources we're going to go to tech or not texture the enemies we're going to go to our human skins AOE. now we want some leftists right we want to add those to the mod all right so we got leftists uh anti-fascist anti-white um okay so we're going to go resources all right and then, um, so, uh, what you're going to notice here, right, uh, you have an ammo MTL, and here in the diffuse, it says just ammo, and as you'll notice, here we have an image file called ammo.png. Uh, most files are going to be DDS, PNG, or TGA. I don't know the exact reasoning behind either any of those, but, uh, that's how the image file should be. Uh, as you'll see here, we got body MTL, and uh, here we have German or Jer underscore Tankman, and then we have Jer underscore Tankman. So this is the skin that will um, that will appear when you spawn him in. Um, things like the texture mods, uh, obviously with the little hashtag there and the number, it's so it appears in a list and it doesn't override each other and constantly get replaced. Uh, so what you'll notice here though is that we have head MTL, but we don't have a head texture file in here uh, so when you open it you can open it with a notepad and what you're gonna see here is uh, you know dollar sign model human skin face afro so uh, this is gonna be in the texture file it you know 90% of the time it's it's gotta be in the texture file and then you're gonna find a folder um, you know texture file you're gonna find common you're gonna find you're gonna look for the folder called model and then when you click in there, you're going to look for human skins. And in there, you're going to see, you're going to look for this. This is the actual texture for the face. This is just the folder it's in. Uh, these are just the folders it's in. So we're going to leave that up. We're going to go to here. We're going to texture. We're going to go to common. And we're going to scroll down as you see model. And then we're going to go human skin. And it can seem a bit daunting. Um, Sometimes it won't look like this, or usually it won't look like this, just because uh, uh, because this was when I was starting, just starting to learn this stuff like a few months ago. I might have figured this out, and I was just kind of drag and drop and shit all mixed into one. Um, but yeah, so sometimes it'll be a little bit cleaner. This sometimes it'll be more mess. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah. So as you see, we got ammo.dds. We have different, you know, Arab skins and so forth. Um, not sure why all these are in here. They just are for some reason. I'm retarded, I guess. Anyway, uh, as you'll see here, we have face afro dot dds. Now, uh, there's multiple kinds. Uh, we're just gonna take this one. We're just gonna copy. We're gonna paste into here, and then we should be okay at a minimum. Actually, you know, we're just gonna go back to the resources there. And then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna do just as we saw in the other folders. You're going to get rid of the path. All you're going to do is have face afro. Now, and you're going to save. And now it's going to uh, look for this specific texture. It's not going to go looking in the models or common or anywhere else in the mod. It's going to look in this skin specifically. And uh, so we're going to go to the white. And uh, again, the same thing, right? So we got face euro. So we can delete that ahead of time because we know where the path is. Uh, we're going to save. It's called face euro. So going to go back to resources textures common 
and I, I'm doing it. I'm doing it this way because uh, I know it can be a little um, confusing, and it's helpful. Uh, and again, there's multiple human skins in different folders because this is when I was just kind of mix and mashing all this shit into just one big file, and that's a messy way to do it. Um, so we've got model, human skin. Now we're looking for face euro. And uh, so we got face Arab, we got face Asia. Uh, yep, so we got face Euro. Here we go. And we're gonna scroll down now again. Um, what you can do is you could take this face, you could get rid of, uh, you could get rid of this, so that way it would spawn in with just this face. But you know, again, I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, we're just going to look for the default face, that's all we need. So we're going to, here we go, we've got face, euro. And then we're going to just, like last time, copy, paste, and we're going to make sure that it is saved. So, there we go. I'm going to go back to resources, and now those skins should appear in-game. I'll just quickly launch to make sure that it's in there. Um, and another thing, the way that, that you can tell if uh, this stuff was actually added and stays in, is if it uh, mounts mod resources. If it does it for, um, if it mounts mod resources for like a long time, like it doesn't just quickly do it as you saw here, then that means it's probably re-downloading the whole mod and that's a whole other thing. And so it'll delete your stuff that you added in. Um, I'll explain that better in a different video. But essentially here we go. So we got test, left, and now they have their faces. And again, you can, you know, change them out and whatnot. Um, you get the different textures too. So uh, that is that. So now we have our skins, right? But we want some equipment, some body armor, some helmets. All right. So I'm going to go to uh, Redmond also. Um, some mods um, to compress and pack it down uh, to make it a lot smaller of a mod. Um, I use pack files and stuff uh, using 7-zip or WinRAR. I use 7-zip. Um, essentially, you, you get a bunch of these pack files. So uh, sometimes it'll be, uh, if it's not a pack file, it'll be just like kind of one of these folders. Uh, it'll be an entity, it'll be inventory, uh, so forth. But obviously, uh, that's not the case here. So we've got uh, equipment. Go entity, inventory, equipment, and we're going to go body, army. All right, so we're going to minimize that, and now we're going to go to Entity. We're going to find a body uh, or equipment. Let's see. Oh, yeah, so uh, some mods have two inventory folders. When I say some mods, I mean, um, I mean Cold War for some reason. Other mods probably do that as well. I just... I don't know why. Is what it is. Anyway, inventory, equipment, body, and we want AOE because their shit is Liddy AF, as the kids say. Now, uh, for tutorial purposes, we're gonna make sure it's one that doesn't have um, oop, that doesn't have a uh, yeah doesn't have a texture. So let's actually check something real quick. Oh, 32. Ah, no, it's gonna be very boring. Here we go. Uh, actually, no. There we go. Russian assault armor. This stuff's pretty cool. Uh, access AS. All right. So I uh, just double checking that real quick. So we've got B Battlefield 3 Russian assault armor. We're just gonna drag, drop. So it'll ask add to archive. You're gonna hit yes. And uh, there we go. And so again, uh, oop, wrong body. I'm gonna go here. Uh, all right gonna go back to resources and like I said so sometimes there's multiple uh, MTL files and uh, if it's called um, it it won't um, it won't essentially be aligned with the name as we saw like uh, ammo MTL with uh, that stuff sometimes it's material hashtag 72 like this so um, don't worry about that um, sometimes there's multiple folders for different parts of gear so um, like the other body armor, it has a rucksack, so it has a separate texture for that rucksack, so it has another material file. Uh, this is all in one texture, so 
uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the model vest and we're going to look for access AS. So we're going to minimize that. We're going to go to textures, common, and we're going to scroll down. So here we see model vests. And now, actually, that was pretty quick. Uh, this is essentially what it will look like in game. Oh, I think there's a plane or something flying overhead. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do, we're just going to... Actually, let me scroll down and be sure, yeah. Yep, okay. Just going to drag and we're going to drop. Add archive, yes. And minimize that. Actually, yeah, let's double check, yep. So access AS, and yep, so I see access AS. And we're just going to delete that. And we're going to close, we're going to save. And again, if... um. Actually, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but uh, you know we're gonna hit OK real quick. So if you are editing a um, if you're editing a file and you're in 7-zip and then you close and then you're in a different folder, say for example we're in here, and then you close this one and it says uh, save and you hit yes, because you're not in that specific file anymore, it's gonna say can't find the path or something like that. And it won't appear so uh, that is why you want to make sure you stay in here so that way it'll actually apply it um, so now that we've done that we need to do one more thing this is to make sure that uh, this is to make sure that they'll actually uh, pick up and wear the equipment and uh, what we need to do is we need to make a set file so we're gonna go set and again sometimes this is going to be a uh, folder like this or sometimes you'll see it in something called properties or uh, game logic um, or you know Redmond offset pack you know uh, actually no that's a different type of set anyway uh, yeah so you're gonna just look for set and we're gonna go to stuff and then we're going to go to body and essentially what we're gonna do is just gonna copy and paste and then what we're going to do here, we're going to go, going to rename, and we're going to make sure it's word for word because uh, any ish, any slight issue or error, it's it's not going to appear. Uh, so, copy. Uh, Russian assault armor. Oh, I'm going to rename this. We're going to paste. So now it knows it has a set file. So we're going to go to notepad. we got to change one more thing. So here, the tag, um, actually, no, not, we don't want to do tag. So entity is going to be the, um, yep, Russian armor. And I don't know what pattern Nova code or tag item in one hand means. I've, I've not asked or learned about that stuff. This is just kind of the basics. So what we're going to do, we're going to save. And now that we have a set file, they'll be able to wear it. So we're going to launch it. Or, yeah, we're going to launch the mod. All right. Mounting mod resources so we know that it's um, been added. All right, scroll down, you know, human. Cuba. Actually, no. We want. Yeah, I'll just do. Uh, delete that. We're gonna scroll down. This is just for demonstrative. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Apologies there. Time wasting is what that is. So we're gonna go inventory. Oh, oh, yeah. So again, see we have two different inventory files. This one has a bunch of ammo stuff, and then this one will have the equipment. So body. And we put it in the army tab, and as you can see here, our battlefield Hi. Russian assault. Highlight it, and there we go. And then actually, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna find it. You guys are just going to sit there and wait. Look for leftists. Uh, you know what? Oh boy. 
Uh, yeah. We now have body armor. And we're just gonna keep scrolling down. Oh, here we go. Anti-fascist. And voila. That is how you do that. I hope you guys found this uh, tutorial helpful and interesting. If there's stuff that I missed or if there's a more specific problem with textures or reporting that you have that you want answered, uh, just let me know. Um, more than happy to take care of that. So again, hope you found this helpful and learned something new. Um, yeah. And as always, uh, just comment and uh, make requests for different tutorials or videos of any kind. And I'll see you guys soon.